All right, we're on page 117, graphing linear and absolute value inequalities. Okay, graph linear inequalities. A linear inequality resembles a linear equation, but with an inequality symbol instead of an equal symbol. For example, y is greater than negative 3x minus 2 is a linear inequality, and y equals negative 3x minus 2 is a related linear equation. The graph of the inequality of y is greater than negative 3x minus 2 is shown at the right as the shaded region. Every point in the shaded region satisfies the inequality. The graph of y equals negative 3x minus 2 is the boundary of the region. So this dashed line is the linear equation. The shaded part is the solution to y is greater than negative 3x minus 2. If the symbol was less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, the points on the boundary would be would also satisfy the inequality. So the boundary would be drawn as a solid line. So if you have the greater than or less than symbol, you have a dashed line here. If you have the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to with the equal bar underneath, it would be a solid line. Let's look at our first example here. Graph x plus 4y greater than 2. Okay, what I like to do, you could find the zeros, or what I like to do is just put it in slope-intercept form. So I'm just going to solve for y. 4y is greater than negative x plus 2. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. y is greater than negative 1 fourth x plus a half. Okay, so your intercept is one half so that's right here your slope is one fourth so that means you're gonna go down one over four so you go down one so i go down halfway between zero and negative one and then over one two three four one one two three four okay we do not have the equal bar so it's going to be a dashed line If you have a ruler, use a ruler. Okay, now we gotta decide which side do we shade. And what we do is we pick a test point. If so if we look at this, 0, 0 is under the line right here. I'm going to pick 0, 0 because it's going to be easy to work with. 0, 0 will be our test point because it's not on the boundary line. So I'm going to, I'm going to check the point 0, 0. I'm going to plug 0, 0 into here. If it's true, I shade in that side. If it's false, I shade in the other side of the boundary line. So if I plug in 0 for x and 0 for y, I get 0 plus 4 times 0 is greater than 2. Now if this is true, 0, 0 satisfies the inequality, and this side is where the solutions lie. But we end up with 0 is greater than 2. That is a false statement. So that tells me this side, you have no solutions. The solutions are going to be up here. And we could test more points to see that this is true. If you were to put in 1, 1, 1, 1's in the shaded region up here. 1 plus 4 times 1 is 1 plus 4, which is 5. 5 is greater than 2. So this point here, 1, 1, that we shaded in, that's part of the solution because it makes a true inequality statement.